everyone, Yukina here, also known as Genshashin. In my last video, I talked about how to film cinematic shots in Genshin. Today, I will talk about the technicals of the video editing process, which includes the basic workflow and tools used when making a video. I mainly use Adobe Premiere when I edit my videos. But if you can't afford Premiere, don't worry, because there's actually a lot of free editing software that's available for you to use. One editing software I'd recommend for beginners is HitFilm. This is because their user interface is relatively simple and it has enough tools and effects on hand to create a good quality video. They also have tutorials inside the program itself that are very easy to follow. Another good thing is that you can export your videos at high quality without any watermarks being placed on the video. You do need to pay for an upgrade if you want to use more advanced tools and effects, but the free version is enough to put together a good edit. You can download HitFilm for free at fxhome.com. If you're a more experienced editor though, then you can try out DaVinci Resolve. This software offers more advanced tools and capabilities, but the learning curve is also a bit steeper. I think learning it is worth it though if you really want to take your vids to the next level. You can get DaVinci Resolve for free at blackmagicdesign.com. Now it's time to talk about the technicals of editing. Most editing software have similar layouts and tools. I'll be using Adobe Premiere to demonstrate some of the common technicals since it's the software I usually use. When you open up Premiere, the first thing you do is create a new project. Give your project a name and choose the location of where you want to keep your Premiere files, and then click OK. You will be taken to the Premiere workspace. Premiere has a lot of panels and different layout presets to choose from according to what task you're doing. For this tutorial, I'll be using the editing layout. In this layout, you can see four major panels. The project panel, the source monitor, the program monitor, and the timeline. The project panel is where you keep all the footage, music, and graphics needed to make your video. You can import your files by double-clicking on the project panel. Choose the files you'd like to import, then click Open. At this point, I like organizing my files into folders called bins, so that it will be easier for me to look for what I need when I'm editing. Once that's done, we can start putting footage into the timeline. What I usually do is double-click on a file to preview it in the source monitor. Then I look for the part that I want to put into my timeline. Once I find it, I set the start and end points of the clip using the mark in and mark out icon. Then I click on the video and drag and drop it to the timeline. The video and audio layers will appear. Pressing the spacebar will play back the timeline, and the program monitor will give a preview of what is playing. If you want to zoom in or zoom out of the timeline, you can do so by clicking the circles on the scroll bars. The vertical scroll bar controls the width of the layers, while the horizontal scroll bar controls the timeline's length of view. To lengthen or shorten a clip, click and hold the edge of the clip and drag it along the timeline. Double-clicking on the program monitor allows you to do further edits. Click and drag the middle portion to change the position of the clip. To change the size, click and drag the handles on the edges. When editing audio, you can adjust the volume by clicking this line on the waveform. Dragging the line upwards increases the volume, while dragging it downwards decreases it. On the right side of the timeline is the audio meter. If your audio is too loud, a red warning box will appear. When that happens, lower the volume of the clip to avoid audio distortion. To add transitions between clips, go to the Effects panel and look for the Video Transitions folder. Choose a transition, then drag and drop it between the two clips. You can make the transition longer or shorter by clicking and dragging along the edges. Then you can use the spacebar to check the transition. On the left side of the timeline are some tools that you can use to edit clips more efficiently. By default, you'd be using the selection tool, since this is how you're able to click around the timeline. I don't actually use all the tools here, but the ones I use the most are the razor tool and the type tool. The razor tool allows you to quickly add cuts to your footage. A good shortcut to know is C to switch to the razor tool, then V to switch to the selection tool, so that you can easily cut and move footage in the timeline. To use the type tool, click on the program monitor. A red box will appear where you can type your text. A text layer will also appear in the timeline, which you can trim and move around. For 
For more options on text editing, highlight the text layer and click the Effect Controls panel. Then, click on the Text tab. Here you can find options such as changing the font, the font size, or the font color, among other things. For subtitles, I like putting a transparent background behind the text so that it can be easier to read. Once you're done editing, you can export the video by going to File, Export, then click Media. When exporting for YouTube, I usually choose the H.264 format, and I use the preset Match Source High Bitrate. Change the output name to the title you want for the video, then click Export. Your export times can either be a few minutes or even a few hours, depending on factors such as your computer setups or how complicated the edit is. So feel free to sit back, relax, and wait for the export to finish. Once your export is done, you will have your video file, which you can go ahead and upload. So that's the technicals of my editing workflow whenever I make Genshin videos. I hope that you found this informative and useful, especially for those who want to try and start making your own videos. If you want to see some of the Genshin videos I've edited, check out the Genshashin channel. Thank you and have a great day. See ya! Spice, spice, spice.